Well, guys, as we get older, we grow more susceptible to sports fan superlatives. This is the best team ever. <laughs> best teams, worst teams, worst weather, best player. Never seen anything like it. Now, I'm going to try to keep from sounding like someone suffering from a bad case of sports fan superlatives or recency bias or really anything that makes me easy to write off because I really have something bugging me and I really think it is a big problem. This is the worst year for football officiating that I could ever remember. See, I told you I was going to sound like that. <laughs> whether it's college or pro, whether it's Iowa or Iowa State, I don't remember a year in which we started off the Monday water cooler session with gripes about officiating more regularly than we have this year. We have seen terrible calls, weird calls, calls that came out of nowhere, calls that affected some of the outcomes of the games, and calls that made us wonder if the entire crew, replay booth included, was trying to gaslight us into believing that we had lost our damn minds. <laughs> now, ironically, all this comes at a time where we have more officials on the field, better cameras, more cameras, a replay booth, and rules upon rules intended to make it more likely that officials get the calls right. So, what up? No matter how popular the game is, you simply can't have so many situations where officials seem blind to what the naked eye and common sense see clearly. I can handle someone telling me that I'm biased. I can even deal with being told I'm wrong. But week in and week out this year, I have felt like the officials are telling me I'm crazy. And that is a bridge too far. <laughs> we could get into the weeds with Cooper DeGene's punt return or pass interference in the NFL, but let's just say it's been a terrible year and move on to solutions. The NCAA and NFL officials need to have a busy off season. Now they've made safety the priority in past years, well, it's time to take a year to focus on clean officiating. Take these calls one by one and inject an element of common sense. Now, we as fans need to understand that some of this is on us. Now, we want the right calls, but we want them fast. We want the human element, but we want accuracy. We want safety, but we want to let them play. Can't have all that at once, and we know it. But we also know that nothing makes us more upset or makes us look more petty and biased than whining about officiating. Let's hope some things change. I'm Andy Fails, and that's what's bugging me.